All right, since the last video I made on this uh, Schwinn Shuffle E-Cruiser Deluxe modification with suspension, rim, tires, and a 48 volt battery to complement it. Uh, so I ordered, went on Amazon and ordered me a new Schwinn Shuffle. And guess what came? I got a blue one. It's gonna be amazing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the parts off this white one here because now white ones are almost like a dime a dozen. And I'm gonna smash them onto this blue one and then uh, do a redeck and maybe one other thing to it. So uh, that's today's plan. I'm gonna get to it. Now, I'm gonna spare you guys from unboxing and disassembling because uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube about doing that. All right, now that I got uh, most of the crap off this frame here, I still gotta knock the fender off, this chromey hoopy thing because we're gonna uh, start in on the conversion on this. As with any Schwinn Shuffle E-Cruiser Deluxe conversion, we have to take out this here cross member because we need to make room so we can fit a full length battery tray in so we can get a nice long battery up in this thing. And then the other part we have to do is you got this hoop here that holds a fender. And what it is, we're putting a thicker tire on or a taller tire. And so we're gonna take this hoop and we're actually gonna bend it forward and hopefully not tweak it in any way or scratch it all up in the process and then we're going to take this fender and then we're going to cut it about in half or so so it'll it'll be the fender will go up to about here instead of all the way to the back give it a little more sporty look oh yeah hey schwinn when you're selling these things maybe you can uh put little black ones these little white things on because it looks a little off whenever you got a white one a white one a white one then another one up here if it was black it'd look a Little more cohesive oh yeah the last thing i'm probably gonna do is uh knock out these black cups and put the uh the chrome ones on from the other frame that way it'll go chrome match the chrome chrome when the forks are like a polished aluminum and chrome i think it'll look a little better that way all right so let's get to uh knocking out a cross member uh, good thing these frames are light All right, when you're gonna cut out this cross member, I found the best way to do it is to go find the most dullest hacksaw you've ever seen in your life. That way, whenever you're cutting it, you're really just banging around, hitting everything and scratching the whole frame into pieces. Don't do that. So, I'm gonna, uh, power tools. Yeah, always remember to wear uh, eye protection, folks. Oh yeah, also, repurposing your box is a great working surface so you don't scratch the out of your frame here. All right, so we got mostly cut out. We got a couple nubs here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change off from a cutting disc to an actual uh, flapper wheel and then I'll polish that thing smooth. All right, so I got the, uh, the flap wheel put on this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, meticulously polish this thing out. So I'm going to speed up the video footage, that way you guys won't have to listen to a bunch of annoying grinding noise, and we'll go from there. All right, now that off that grinding noise is finished with, so the main thing is when you're grinding this, you just want it smooth. You don't want it gouged into the frame. These frames aren't that thick. They're not like super duper strong. Cause obviously if you read right here, it's made in China. So with that said, you just want it. So there's nothing protruding. So your battery tray will just slip right in and you won't have a problem. You can hit a little bit of paint. That's what I'm gonna do. But once the tray's in there, 
you're not going to see the you're not going to see the ground marks. All right. Uh, moving on to uh, trying to bend the hoop. All right. So I took all the parts off the uh, the white one up here, smashed them on this one. I had to do some mods. Maybe I'll we'll bring the camera over, but uh, it's actually looking pretty good. Change out to the chrome cups. Looks actually pretty slick with the, the blue and the chrome. And then I had an issue with the fender. And let's take a look at that. All right. So with the fender, I actually had to put the fender in front of, there's a lower cross member here. It wouldn't fit behind it because the tire is rubbing, so I had to cut it. And you can see it cut right. You see it right there, sitting in front with a little screw. And then the battery tray, I had to trim a little off also because this last cross member, it's a, it's a little bit lower and also farther back than the white one. And I had to oblong some holes here to make it fit. Uh, yeah. So now I just gotta uh, smash the, the 48 volt battery back in and then um, go from there. Looking pretty good though. All right, so I'm doing this. It's uh, November, 2020. Everybody's gotta self-isolate all nine yards, but what's better to do than uh, get on Amazon, pick you up a nice, you can get the blue, you can get the gray, you can get the white. You just put in a Schwinn shuffle and it'll pop up on Amazon. They're like 150, 160 bucks for just a stock kick bike. Order it up and then do you a conversion and uh, come springtime when we can all go back out and do things. It's gonna be amazing. But I did want to talk about the battery. So, I bought this battery, 48 volts from China, about a year ago, and I just noticed, uh, probably about three, four weeks ago, and I was in a ride, out on a ride, that it wasn't going as far as it used to, and so I came home, I charged it, and it charged up, so 48 volts should be 54.6 fully charged, I was like, cool, so I unplugged the charger, and then I hooked on my voltmeter to it, and it was like at 51.7. Plug the charger in, 54.6. So I lost almost like two volts from 51.7 to 54.6, which is, you think 54 volts is a lot, but really if you take a 48 volt battery, it's six volts up and six volts down. So 48 volt battery only goes to 42, so your range is from 42 to 54. Well, now it's 42 to 52. So I lost a good 10, 15% of, um, of my capacity just by the loss of voltages alone because this is from China and who knows actually how well it, what kind of cells they used, you know, is there BMS actually working? Do I got, do I got a series of cells or a group of parallel ones that are off? So I need to actually cut the battery open and do some testing on it. But uh, as you see, I got the, a frame now, a white one. And uh, I usually use these 36 volt batteries, which are actually made up of really nice LG cells. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But these things, this one tested out at 2,800 milliamps. So 2.8 amp hour times that. If you had a 4P, it'd be like a 10 amp hour battery-ish. So my goal is I'm going to take two of these 36 volt batteries, stack them on each other. I'm going to build, I think I got a, a deep pan. I'm going to take that other frame and I'm going to build a, it's going to be a normally like seven and a half. So it'll be about a 15 amp hour battery, 36 volts. So that white one's gonna become that using actually high grade cells. This battery cut apart and I'll probably end up grabbing a couple more of these, uh, I think Xiaomi M365s batteries or what they are. Grab a couple of these, rip them apart and build my own 48 volt battery out of it. So that way I get really good cells and I won't lose that two, two volts over a year, which is ridiculous. And if I go another year and I lose two more volts, it's pretty much a waste of money at that point. So now, I'm gonna put it all back together. I'm not gonna video that, and then I'm uh, working on a new deck for it, so next uh, scene you'll see that. So cool. Hope this is a little bit informational. Uh, so sorry for all the noise. It started to rain. It's November 2020. What do you expect? NorCal. Um, and I'm also filming in a barn. 
on top of that, so it's super echoey. So yeah, pardon that also. So the Schwinn deck, uh, it's a no-go. So instead, I grab the camera here. I took a blank skateboard deck, trimmed it out so it actually fit up in here, and I made it a little bit longer and wider. And then I just actually got done putting the uh, this grip tape stuff on. Never done that before in my life. So you can see the difference here. Stock versus modified. You gain actually a, a decent amount. So now your foot's not just barely teetering. You actually got a decent space for your feet when you're cruising around. And then I'm gonna complement the green. I'm gonna make a nice sparkle green E-Cruiser Deluxe uh, decal for there. And then we're good to go. So that's uh, so that's taking this white one apart and then putting it together on this blue frame. Cheaper than having it uh, powder coated. And I got a spare frame to boot, so we're gonna make another bike out of it. This will be fun. Well, thanks for checking out uh, today's video. Um, I've been wanting to do this, this uh, a different colored frame for a while. Finally, Amazon as of November of 2020. So you got the blue, you got the gray, and you can get the white. And they, it's like Amazon, you can get it like within a few days if you got Amazon Prime. I don't, so it's about to cut, so it takes a bit longer for me. But I wanted to do a bigger deck, which I did, and the next one's gonna even have a, uh, a bigger deck. And I'm also, I'm gonna use, you know, this white frame, or I got another white frame, and I'm gonna grab a couple more of these, hopefully I can find them. These 36 volt batteries with these LG cells, actually they're really high grade, so totally worth it. And I'm gonna try to build a 60 volt version of a Schwinn Shuffle E-Cruiser Deluxe. So we've done 36, this is a 48. I'm gonna do a dual 36 and I wanna do a 60 volt. But that 60 volt, so I got on eBay and I picked up this, I bought a whole kit just because I wanted the rear hub, but they call this a 500 watt rear hub you compare this 500 watt to the 750 watt, I'm pretty sure this is a thousand watt hub. They just uh, declassified it to get it past some kind of regulation or something. But this thing's massive, so this will be actually a pretty good, pretty fun build. I also got the, uh, I put some uh, these torque arm pieces on because I found out the stock Schwinn frame, you get over 750 and it starts to spread them and then you'll just, uh, They'll spin the axle shaft, which will wrap the wires up and just destroy everything. So, it's going to be dual torque arms. It'll be a pretty fun build. Uh, sorry about all the noise. Filming in a barn, and it's raining. Also, it's a tin roof barn, so it's super loud in here. Well, anyways, I uh, hope you guys uh, like this stuff. I'm going to keep making some more vids. And if you got questions, you can also go to www.sacramentokickbike.com. Uh, there's like a PDF on there, some of the, the pieces we use to build these, so you can get an idea of how to convert your own. There's, there's more than one way to do it. That's just the way these ones are done and with that, that uh, instructions. Not really instructions, it shows you the parts. You kind of got to assemble it yourself. More of a DIY type project. But it's fun. Can't wait till next springtime. <laughs>